The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your, di your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's it's a tricky little gospel passage for us uh, because we fast. Yeah, we fast, and we know, the, we know the goodness of fasting. And yet here we see it put to Jesus the question why his disciples do not fast. And we said, well, we're, we're disciples, so we're just terribly confused here. Except that we have to understand uh, the fast days that the Pharisees and even the disciples of John the Baptist would have been observing were commemorations of past tragic events in the life of Israel. So they're signs of, of mourning, signs of uh, the world uh, not being what it should be, and we keep our fast in order to remind ourselves of the tragedies uh, that, we, that have befallen us and how we are made for more than that, and God's promise endures. Jesus' disciples don't fast because instead of remembering the difficult days of the past, with Him, they are living in God's promised future. It's a bit strange to say it that way, but Jesus is bringing about the... Uh, um, Jesus is bringing about the reality that was long promised by God. He is bringing about God's, uh, God's long uh, dreamed of kingdom, and so he is also uh, uh, bringing God's healing and restoration to the entire world. So when they are with Jesus, when his disciples are with Jesus, they don't have to remember the tragic events of the past. They live in God's promised future now. Now this is then I will say why we do fast today, because we, living in God's promised future now, understand that we are still in need of renewal ourselves. And being in need of renewal, we commit ourselves to the traditional Lenten practices of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, so that we can grow in love of God, neighbor, and self, and help uh, to be part of God's bringing of His kingdom of holiness and justice. That's how we participate in it, so that we, can, we too can live God's promised future now, through and with and in Christ. He has called us to do it. He is equipping us to do it. He's giving us the strength to bring His love to life in the world. He will not desert us in that task, but, he, but we need to be renewed ourselves. And so our Lenten observation, our fasting, is acknowledgement of the fact that we need renewal. Only God can accomplish it in us, but we devote ourselves to Him in uh, more serious, uh, in more depth-filled ways as we take on our fasts these days.